Hey everybody, today we're going to show you another lovely, lovely, lovely pen. What we have here is the Anotto the pen. This particular one is the model number 6233 and then 7.7, .7, which I assume is the the colour and the the trim or maybe even, well, part of the model number if you like. Um, as I say, this is the Anotto the pen. I date the pen late sort of 1940s um, through to sort of mid 1950s. As you can see it comes in this lovely black hard rubber and if we show you the top there you can see it's got the very recognisable Chevron Onotto um, Thomas Delarue symbol to the top of the clip there and you can see the clip ring goes around um, around the top of the cap there. Um, to the bottom of the cap there you can see it's got two, two gold uh, gold filled cap bands and hopefully you can see it's got this sort of barley corn pattern which for some reason on this particular pen it's actually um, the pattern is actually lighter on the barrel than it is on the on the cap you can see the cap there it's quite pronounced um, whereas on the barrel um, for some reason not as pronounced as the uh, as the cap itself but if we show you the the barrel imprint there you can see it's got the a uh, not over the pen and then underneath it's got Delarue Delarue London to the bottom of the of the pen sorry incidentally this particular one is what we term as a plunger filler and to the end of the pen there we've got what we term as the plunger knob there. Now this pen came to me in a little bit of a sorry state. Normally what you'll find is the top of the cap, this button here and the plunger at the bottom tend to discolour which uh, is what happened with this particular pen but we've we've fully restored it and we've you can see it's um, a lot blacker now and it's matching the rest of the pen. Absolutely lovely pen. If we come back to the to the plunger or the plunger knob to the bottom there I don't know if you can actually see it but I'll try and keep it nice and clear you've got you've got a little arrow there which we'll explain in a moment and then just underneath the arrow um, you've got the model number 6233 and then if we turn it round I'll take a look over the over the camera there you can see again the model number being 7.7 .7, which again I assume is the um, is the colour of this particular pen and maybe even the relates to the trim to the trim of the pen as I say this particular one is is black hard rubber the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel is approximately 135 millimeters um, capped around the barrel here it's approximately 11 millimeters in diameter all in all lovely 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 pen now just coming back to the arrow here which again we'll show you you can see it's got an arrow um, pointing to the to the left if you like the reason being is that if we take the cap off here let's first of all give you a nice little twirl like that show you the pen in different at different angles lovely pen Onotto's are actually my favorite pens um, if we show you to the top there, you can you can see it's got this elongated section to the top there with a little um, a little area just to the top of the section there, and then we've got this lovely Anotto nib. Now, if we show you the nib again, let's keep it nice and still for you. And what we've got here is a gorgeous Delarue Anotto 14 karat gold London 3 dash. ST gold nib okay now if we give you a sideways view there you can see the sideways and then again if we show you the back there you can see it's got this standard um, a not so feed underneath there you can see it's lovely and clean as I say we're fully cleaned and fully fully restored this particular pen and it's come out absolutely gorgeous sorry let's come back again to this arrow at the bottom the arrow is actually on these particular pens as, as I've explained on other other videos that I've actually done 
these particular pens have what they term as a shut off valve inside here and it's a little if you like a cone shaped um, top, of, top of the plunger is actually cone shaped and it sits inside inside the feed in here and what actually happens is once you fill the pen um, you screw the plunger knob all the way home and then in effect what you'll actually do um, in the direction of the arrow you'll simply give it a half turn and what that will do is open um, the shut off valve in there and help the ink flow when you're actually writing so as I say what you do to fill this particular pen you unscrew this particular plunger knob here again let's give you a close up you can see it's lovely and clean we've put new um, new rubber washers inside we've got new cork washers it's been fully cleaned internally lovely condition again what we do we simply pull this plunger knob here and to fill the pen what you do is simply push down on the plunger filler like so now the nice thing about these particular pens what I'll actually do let's see if you can actually hear it okay I don't know if you can actually hear that when you actually push down on these particular pens there's there's a sort of popping sound at the end okay so I don't know if you can actually hear that and what that means is well hopefully it's working working fine so well the best way to find out is let's test it so let's bring on some ink and again I've told you on these um, on the videos before what you do you simply um, dip the ink or sorry the nib in the ink and to fill these pens you simply push down once on the plunger so let's do that I don't know if you could hear that as well you can see well I can see over the camera lots of bubbling you can hear like a, a popping sound as well which indicates that everything up to now is fine now what we need to do now is actually turn the plunger knob all the way home like so and then as we said earlier in the direction of the arrow what we do we give it a turn back and what that'll do is open this this shut off valve inside the section so let's bring on a pad and let's do a little bit of writing so <coughs> so what we've got here as I said is the Anotto this is the Anotto the pen and as we said the model number for this particular one is the 6233 and then to the back it's got 7.7 .7. We date the pen, I don't know, I'd say sort of the late late 1940s to around about, I don't know, maybe the mid 1950s. Now, these particular nibs on the Anottos are actually renowned for being, well, for being quite flexible. And if I press down you can see I can get quite a thick line on the downward stroke so let's do the the normal figure of eights and then on the downward stroke let's apply well my writing's not very good <laughs> but you can see on the downward stroke we're getting quite a thick line and if we go across or don't put a lot of pressure on the on the nib you can see we can get a varied lines from thin to thick to very thin so there's a writing sample as you can see there's quite a variation in this nib it's quite a flexible nib all in all a lovely writer as well so let's keep it well <laughs> says he let's keep it short because otherwise I'll be chatting all day so there we have it an absolutely gorgeous example of the Anotto the pen the 623377 in this black hard rubber with gold uh, gold filled trim with the the chevron chevron clip to the top there all in all an absolutely gorgeous pen so 
I hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen as always as much as I love showing them to you so don't forget loads of more videos go and have a look leave a comment don't be shy but for now I'll just simply say bye bye now